So it seems like King Sid and Bree may be broken up yet again. Now, it was recently brought to my attention that they have unfollowed each other on Instagram. King Sid is no longer following Bree, and Bree is no longer following King Sid. Now, you guys know they have a history of breaking up and getting back together again. So, I'm guessing we'll see where this goes. Now, if you guys did not hear as well, King Sid was involved in an altercation in Miami where people are stating that he got knocked out. Now, there is out. a video circulating the internet right now of this whole incident. I will try to link that down in the comment section so you guys could check that out if you have not saw it already. Now, King Sid did also go onto Instagram to explain the whole situation. Listen, listen, listen I'm gonna tell you what happened though, for real, bro. That's some real shit. It was head for head yesterday, dog. Like, bro, I'm telling y'all, look, well, since we got to the beach, car, nigga, sizing us. It started with Floyd, well, I never mind. I like turn the nigga down for a picture, whoa. And out of all respect, I said, fam, when I seen him, I said, fam, I know you busy, you think I get a picture? And the man go and say, damn, I'm not even worth a hello? That's number one already. So you, we already got hot after that situation. As we walk in, so, so, some people say, why the f security for? Because you even noticed us too. Then number three, whoa. I'm talking to this girl, fam, and some shit just run up to us, woo, and try to get in the way. A drunk, my security pushes ass out the way, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and that just, our, our, our tension's already heating up, woo. So once that incident was done, fam, we kept walking, we kept walking. And you know, so we say, yo, and we keep walking, woo. Once we walk in, say, yo, security. Now, fam, I told you how much shit happening, woo. So we all turn around, bro. We like, man, Bro, and when like my sister said, who, who said that? I got a band on it right now. We could fade it out. Just wanna get and scared, woo. So blase blah fam. Shit got heated and heated, fam. And Jay wonder go about to steal somebody in the He starts running from him, woo. And now I'm not paying attention to that, woo. I'm I'm not looking, fam. When when he start running from Jay Wonder, this man ran into me with his with, with his shoulder, fam. I'm talking about fam. I was not looking, fam. He ain't hit me. He did not punch me in my. Shit. I put this on my life. He ain't punch me in my. Shit. Man ran into me with his shoulder, fam. Off guard, and my whole lip busted, fam. Not that rolling, bit. But I ain't gonna lie, fam. Them niggas were. When I tell you my security, hot nigga down, dog, and stole. Fam, I'm talking about yo. I'm talking about the man's face is. Be fair. Tell that bro his face. Look, when I tell you his whole face fell into uh, on the fire station chair, oh, whole face busted. Oh, I put this on everything I love, fam. That's when other bro, my other security, other bro, and little girlfriend tried to get in the way. Both they ass got stole too, fam. And little girlfriend tried to get in the way, <laughs> but she it. got her ass stomped on. Oh, no cap, fam. Oh God, oh. I felt bad for that little girl. <laughs> and it wasn't her fault. It was her boyfriend's fault because her boyfriend weaved and she got her ass shit. Hit right in her face, woo. But fam, I ain't perfect, woo. You feel me? Ain't gonna lie, that shit was head for head yesterday, boy. When I tell you, I know they got the worst hand, though, fam. Cause they ain't, they ain't gonna lie, woo. They ain't mean to do that, woo. The nigga punched me in my shit. That nigga ran into me, woo. That's it, fam. So at the end of the day, woo, tell them pick their homie up, woo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if I would've got punched in my Y'all would have seen all of this would have been swollen, woo. Y'all would have seen, y'all would have seen, y'all would have seen my tooth would have been broken. And Who's that? Oh, she was sucking that boy. No, nah, but I ain't gonna lie. That, 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 that's what happened when you try to stand on business, fam. Like, we were supposed to keep walking, woo. But it's like, bro, since Floyd sized us, woo, it's like, we just tired of getting sized, woo. Like, I be a good people, woo. And it's just like, when you so good as people just size you fam you're not gonna take that the right way well you know how i am fam. you know i ain't gonna get out my rhythm so man. let's move on to this next situation now someone sent king's ex-girlfriend ashley a message with 
she not pregnant no more. She still need that ASS whooped. So then Ashley, which is Houston wig queen, you guys know this was the hairstylist that everyone thought that King cheated on Nick with. She responds with, tell her I'm ready when she is. So now after I received this, I did send it to Ashley to ask her, hey, is this true? And she responds with, she clearly talking some type of ish because six people messaged me telling me to whoop her ASS. Then I respond with, oh, okay, I didn't see her saying anything about you. So not sure why they all sent that. And she responds with me either. So now, honestly, in my opinion, I understand that a lot of people don't like Lena for whatever reason, but this is just taking it too far. You guys are sending requests to somebody you knew that she had issues with in the past to get them to try to fight her. That makes absolutely no sense to me. It's not worth it. Nick has moved on. King has moved on. They seem like they're happy. So that is all that matters is like why is all of this still even an issue I don't know someone explain to me down in the comment section below what is the whole issue with people not liking Lena to the point where they're sending King's ex-girlfriend requests like this let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down in the comment section below uh, 16 7 You keep my mind. It's all right. What's the matter? Hold on, y'all. Let me let me try to help her. It's okay. It's all right. Come on, come on. Mhm. Mm come on. Come on. I know. Fuck the critics. <laughs> Period. Y'all, Osha was so cranky yesterday. I felt like so bad. She got her shots. And she was just so cranky yesterday. Oh, no. I'm not leaking from my... Um, my boobs no more y'all honestly i really didn't like you know some people say when their milk dries up and stuff it'd be like hurting or their nipples be like cracked and stuff or like bruised and i didn't experience any of that thank god when i stopped because again i wasn't producing enough milk anyway so i mean i guess it didn't really make a difference it was only like the first three days that my my boobs were like really big and heavy <laughs> Breastfeeding helps the mom lose weight. Yep, but I'm in the gym, so it's all right. Any tips for first-time mommies? I'm a first-time mom myself, and I would just say, you know, do what feels right for you. You know, take advice. I think that's one thing that really bothers me is that people like, if I'm, like, asking for advice, that's one thing. But, like, sitting there trying to tell me, like, let me figure it out. Me, I'm the type of person I like to figure things out on my own. Like, I have common sense. I'm not going to do stuff that's, like, like you know, not, like, common sense. But, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like go at your own pace. Do things that make you feel comfortable. You're going to know your baby. You're going to learn your baby. That's one thing, too. <clears throat> LA it's three 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 y'all I've been getting double like I've been getting two 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 four 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 five 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 something great is happening y'all I'm telling you God is like working right now I'm telling y'all something great is happening mark my words y'all by this like just telling y'all mark my words hmm. 
exactly it's a learning like everyday process and i don't have my mom out here to sit here and be like do this do that but also my mom had a kid like okay mama my mom had a kid 16 years ago so like plus it's a different baby you know people be like oh your mom must not be teaching you like bro whole different generation now my kid is not the same as my sister you know what i mean Oh, here you go. Here you go. I know, mama. I know. I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all really be coming on here with rah rah for why? <laughs> Why do y'all be so angry at life? That'd be my question. Like, what makes y'all so angry? She just be getting on people's lives with that rah rah shit. <laughs> Bitch. Corvette, Corvette, hop to the motherfucking tail like that. They be like, let away, you want to let you want like that, what you want like that. What if King was really a bad boyfriend? But he's not. He's a great boyfriend. Y'all, he is a such an amazing man. Like, this man is just amazing. He's an amazing father. He's an amazing boyfriend. All around, 10 out of 10. Don't recommend because he's mine. <laughs> She drinks six ounces, y'all. That's a lot for her. a two-month baby, the doctor was saying. But my girl likes to eat. Plus, it's like, it's milk. Once she pees and stuff, it's like it's out her belly. Like, of course, she's going to want more. It's liquid. <laughs> hey, yo, mama. Hey, yo, my baby. Hello, my little baby. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Here you go. I be using grip water to door. All right, mama. Okay. All right. She just likes to be honestly. She likes to really be held. Eat that right. So I just like attention. See, I just like attention. Okay. She be so fussy. Okay, y'all, I got to go because I got to tend to mamas. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And for all haters, I hope y'all still have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Okay?